Good morning students. Welcome to this online class e -Subhidya. Dear students, in the last class, we have discussed about stanza 3 and 4. In stanza 3 and 4, the poet, your James Parker, describes how we people and they people, they means the people of foreigners, the other, other countries, the people of other countries, we may call them foreign. How we all are same. God gives us eyes to see. God also gives them eyes to see. We get heat and energy from sun. Like that, they get heat and energy from sun. So we all are same. We the people of our countries, we uh, the people of other countries, they all are same. They work hard, we also work hard. So students, today we will discuss about stanza 5 and uh, 4 and 5. So, you um, listen to me. I am reciting. Let us remember whatever you are told. To hate our brothers, it is ourselves. That we shall dispossess, betray, condemn. Remember who we who take arms against each other. It is the human earth that we defile. Our hands of fire dust out as the innocence. Of air that is everywhere our own. Remember, no men are foreign and no country strange. So students, the poet says that we should remember that whenever someone tells us to hate a person from another country, to think him as our enemy, those were power hungry people. They said we had person from another country. And whenever we think someone to be our enemy, then we deprive. Yes, then we deprive ourselves. Do you cheat ourselves? Then we condemn ourselves. Your betray. Betray means to deprive someone of the possession. Okay? Then condemn. To strongly criticize. Yes, we cheat ourselves and we condemn ourselves. He says that we should stay away from such negativity. Means we don't hesitate, we don't, uh, your uh, enemies, we don't deprive ourselves and we cheat ourselves, we condemn ourselves, you don't, uh, you think that. They are our enemy. We should not consider anyone to be our enemy. So during a war, both the parties must bear the loss. Both the winning party and the defeating party. Both the parties must bear the loss. That's why the poet says that the war is not in our favor. He says that whenever you pick weapon against someone, we should remember one thing that we are brother and sister. We live in the earth. We should keep in mind that whenever you pick weapon and kill any person against and we pick and pick weapon against any person, we make the yard dirty. You are defined, defined. You have to make that thing. 
weapons kill people and their bodies which fall on the earth mark it dirty fire so wherever war happens it leads to a lot of blood cell fire death and it make it impure the fire of war which erupts the smoke which comes out the dust which fills the air it is so dirty that it pollutes and outages the purity of air with all these things so the poet wants finally to give us a message that we should not any live in war we should avoid from the war and says no men are foreign no countries are strange but in the last he ends the poem by writing the first line in reverse remember no men are foreign no countries strange but in first line no men are strange no countries foreign so students the poet here convey the message that all people are equal all men are same it he convey the message to the universal brotherhood all people from this universe live in a whole world live in peacefully there is no war if there is war it will be harmful to all not only the winning party but also the defeating party both the parties will loss and through war the society destroy the air impure so we deprive ourselves whenever you think some to our enemy then we deprive ourselves we cheat ourselves we condemn ourselves so not think all people are same no only boundaries are there only boundaries separate us the poet convey you that the boundaries only separate us all people were dif different races but they are same they are equal all men are 